What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Um, got the Jeep here, Lieutenant Dan, I'm working on it. Um, you'll see all of this in a whole nother video, but in this video I want to do a quick uh, video explaining what I'm going to be doing to treat the rust. We are going to turn this rusty old fuel line into this that looks brand new as it came from the factory. Uh, let me show you what we're gonna look at here. I've got a fuel line on the ground right now and you can see it's just got surface rust on it. Um, but it's in really good shape. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is take this metal, something like this with some surface rust but still good integrity and turn it into something like this. Okay, so this is the pedal assembly. Here's the gas pedal. Um, I mean, it looks brand new. So this has a full rust treatment on it that's uh, completely chemically treated the rust and then it's painted, so. Now I'm also gonna preface this video by telling you that we're gonna be doing this on Lieutenant Dan, but this is something you can do on any project you're working on. If it's a first gen Cummins, a Jeep, whatever it is, if you have surface rust, this is the way I found that works really well to treat that surface rust, convert it, and then paint it. If you want to learn a new technique to treat surface rust, watch this video. Here's what we're going to do. I just finished wire brushing this fuel line. So that's the first step. Wire brush the metal to get all the flaky, scaly, um, any particles of, of surface rust off. Now you don't want it to be, you don't want to brush it down to bare, nice, clean metal. You still want some rust on there for this specific product. But wire brush it, get it all off. Um, so I've done it to this fuel line. I'm going to do it to one other fuel line right here. So I've got two more. Uh, this one's for emissions, so I'm not even going to put this one back on, but this is the return one. So I'm going to uh brush that one down real quick and then i'll show you the next step got the fuel lines all wire brushed. Now let me show you the product I'm going to use. This product is called Cora Seal. So essentially it converts the rust and ends up in a full on paintable primer once you're done with it too. So, so I showed you I did this and used this product with the pedal assembly and it was really cool. So the next step that we need to do is clean these really good. Basically try and get any grease or gunk off of them. So uh, all I'm going to do is get a bucket of soapy water with Dawn dish soap in it and uh, wipe them down, scrub them down really good and then get the air compressor and blow them all dry. So that's what I'll do right now and then we will do the Cora Seal which is a really cool product. Um, but let's get these cleaned off first and then we'll do that. All right, so I've got these fuel lines wire brushed, washed off with soapy water. Here they are, got them dried off completely. And you can see, and this is a good thing, but there's still surface rust on them. This Corasil product needs surface rust to bond to it. So if, you, if it's got paint on it or anything like that and it's not rusty, uh, it won't do a good job. So that's why I'm using this product. Here's what we do. Um, I'm going to pour just a little bit of this in a cup, use a paintbrush, and all you do is put it on in coats. And uh, you'll see the first coat, you'll put it on, it'll be kind of white and creamy, and it'll start turning purple. And then when it's done, it'll turn black. But it takes three or four coats of doing this. So let it start to turn purple. As soon as it starts to get nice and dark, 
put your other coat on. The first coat takes the longest to turn that purplish color. After that, every coat seems to transform pretty quickly. So uh, let's go ahead and get to it and we'll uh, get this all treated and I'll show you what it looks like after that and then we'll be able to paint it. So there is kind of one coat. I didn't get under some of the spots that are contacting the sheet, but you can see it starts off kind of a whitish color and it'll slowly turn to a purple color. There you can kind of see the purple. So I'm gonna let that sit. That'll probably take 30, 45 minutes to really set in and then I'll come out and uh, start putting more on. The nice thing is I poured some in that cup. It doesn't go bad quickly and the brush doesn't dry up very quickly either. So it's not like you have to keep cleaning brushes between coats. Uh, just keep the same brush, keep a little bit in that cup and uh, you can just keep going at it. So we'll do a couple more coats and then I'll show you after that dries and then we'll be ready to paint it. All right, we're ready for coat two in most of the spots. You'll notice I went in, took a shower, got all cleaned up between coats because it takes probably about 30 to 45 minutes. So here you can see some spots still a little white, but you can see it turn into that purple. And so the spots where it's set in, it's really a dark brown. And so every coat we put on that will get darker and darker till it's almost black. Uh, three, maybe four coats is just about right from what I did on those petals. So I'm gonna do another coat. Um, I'll catch back up with you guys as soon as I get all the coats on it and then I'll show you that product when it's all dried up and before we paint it, so. All right guys, it's the next day. So I put four coats on it. And here's what it looks like. So you can see it's kind of a glossy, really dark brown, maybe close to black. And if there's spots that are not glossy that are still kind of that matte, rusty type color and texture, put another coat on it, okay? Um, I did, I did four coats on this. I only needed three, but I was bored before I went to bed last night and figured I'd just put one more coat on so it could sit all night. Um, but anyways, it's done. It's dried. Time to put some paint on it. Uh, what I'm using and what I use for the pedal assembly as well is just some satin rust-oleum, satin black. I really like this stuff. I like the way it looks. Um, I like the way it holds up for a, a non-wear part. So. Uh, I'm just gonna start putting some coats on it and uh, that'll be it. So let's get that done. I'll probably put two or three coats of uh, the Rust-Oleum on it and then we'll be done with it. I'll show you the finished product.
All right, guys, there we have it. See if we can get you a good view. So it's that satin finish Rust-Oleum. Obviously not perfectly smooth because there was still a little bit of, you know, surface rust on there, but everything that was flaky came off. So that's the process I'm using for anything that has a nice coat of surface rust on it. So if we look at the Jeep here and you guys will see tearing all this down in a different video, getting it to this point. Uh, but this is all just perfect for that Cora seal stuff. Now on this frame, I'll probably use a different paint. I probably won't use the paint can of Rust-Oleum. I'll probably just go buy some black Rust-Oleum tractor paint and put that on it and uh, it'll look really nice. So anyways, you guys will see or maybe have seen all of this already in another video. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna release first, but anyways, that's the process I'm using. If I deviate from that at all, I'll let you guys know in future videos, but for now, I'm really liking that Coracil stuff or anything that's got a nice coat of surface rust on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you're enjoying the process of Lieutenant Dan. I'm loving this, I'm loving working on this, it's really fun. If you look out here, the side yard looks like a junkyard right now. You got the tub and the top and the roll bar and the hood and the seats and the fenders. I'm still looking for some good condition OEM fenders. If anyone knows of any around Utah, let me know. I need some good fenders still. This is going faster than I planned, um, so we need to find those fairly soon not desperately but fairly soon so let me know but hope you guys enjoyed that like the video if you haven't yet and we'll see you guys in the next video